my channel. Today is the day I do my new releases, the new makeup release and skincare releases for the week. And we have a lot to talk about this week. I think this is the longest. I think I got seven pages here. So that's, I think the longest. Although some of it is, I'm not going to get, I mean, I'll tell you the highlights, but I'm not going to read verbatim. Anyway, this uh, ma this video is inspired from, by Samantha March, along with her line of, will I buy it? Of course, I've kind of changed it to, I don't buy even a quarter of what I talk about. And the reason being is I don't have the budget for it and I don't get PR. So, I mean, I do get some PR, but not anything from any major brands. Anyway, that's neither here nor there. Anyway, I just don't buy that much. This is more of me just expressing my opinion. And it is a nice day today. My car says it's 76 degrees. I don't really think it's that warm. It's just, it's warm in the car. I do have the AC on. So if you hear the fan roaring, roaring, it's the AC. Maybe I'll be able to cut it down in a minute. I don't know. For those of you that don't know it, I run hot. I thought after losing 30 pounds, I would cool off, but I'm running just as hot as ever. So anyway, Jaclyn Hill Cosmetics is coming to Ulta Beauty on March 7th. Her website will release the products on March 2nd. What we have is we have seven baked blush bronzer duos the highlighter she released last year or no 2019 in singles and then two new shades go for gold and uh viva boom whatever that is one loose highlighter in beaming light i guess the lipsticks are not ready <laughs> anyway these look nice you know it's a pretty like a pretty good start so i'm not complaining about it of course, I'm not gonna run out and buy any of it, but it looked nice. Okay, the bad news for the week is Becca Cosmetics is closing. The website will be shut down in September of 21. Estee Lauder said this was due to COVID and that they just couldn't survive. And here is my opinion. And I kind of wrote some notes here, but I don't feel Estee Lauder gave this brand the attention it deserved or should have gotten all these you know, since they bought it and they let the brand test out gimmicky products such as that no foundation, that whatever that was, you know, stuff nobody wanted. Um, anyway, I think Estee Lauder should, could have found a buyer for this brand, maybe, and maybe they tried and didn't. But the main reason I think this company is going away is because Estee Lauder is now the majority owner of Decium, which owns The Ordinary and Nyad and other brands. And they paid over a billion dollars for that. So that told me they didn't have the money to put into Becca, you know. Of course, according to experts, the market is changing more to skincare and lighter makeup. I think it's a phase. I mean, I don't think skincare will ever go away. I mean, the, the leaning toward that, because, you know, I've kind of, I lean more towards skincare anyway, but my love for makeup's not going away with me looking more at skincare. You know, I mean, it's not. I want to have a good canvas for my makeup, so that's why I look at skincare a lot more, and I don't want to, you know, I know that I'm not trying to look 50. I'm not trying to look 40. I'm trying to look what I, my, my age and the best I can at my age. So anyway, my favorite product from Becca at the current time is the Hydra Mist Powder. I don't know if they'll keep that powder and put a different label on it. They could, I guess. My first thoughts was they'll put it, they'll move it over to Tom Ford or La Mer and charge $100 for it. You know, I would rather for them to move it to Bobby Brown or Mac one of those brands and keep it the same price, but who knows? Okay, we'll move on. Dominique Cosmetics is coming out with skincare. This seems to be a, a trend here. You'll see as we go on. 
announcing their primer, primer serum and hyd hydrating mist duo formulated with clean ingredients to instantly deliver moisture to your complexion and lock in hydration for the ultimate glow with I don't know what this is salparine dash eight hyaluronic acid tray hollows ban banan banan and a unique sugar complex fragrance free primer serum $28 miss $32 the bundle $52 Available the 26th on their website. Um, of course, Dominic is a young, she's in her 20s, I guess. And I'm sure this appealed to her age range. For me, not gonna look at it. Okay, ColourPop in their weekly release. I'm kind of weak behind on the way they're doing it, by the way I'm filming. But this week they released the, the Bambi collection. And we've got, you know, a whole line of what they normally have. I'm not gonna go through it all. Uh, it looked cute. I would not buy it, but it looked cute. Okay, Hip Dot has collabed with Peeps, the candy. This looked cute, again, not gonna buy it, but it looks cute. Of course, I'll insert the pictures here. You can get the entire collection for $40, which isn't bad. And it will be at Ulta. March 2nd. Okay, Will Smith and Jada Pickett Smith has come out with their own brand. This is mostly um, personal care, I guess, for male and females. It's called Hey Humans. It includes a body wash and natural deodorant body lotion and fluoride and natural toothpaste. And it's available at Target. Okay, Ole Henriks Henriksen has come out with the Wrinkle Blur by, by Cuckoo. Now, if I, if, I, if I say this away from here, I'll know exactly how to say it, but while I'm on camera, I won't know how to say it. Bacatool Eye Gel Cream. Okay, let's see what it says it does. It blurs the looks of fine lines and wrinkles while also visibly improving skin firmness, elasticity, and the look of dark circles. Plus, it also helps out with the appearance of eyelid skin tone. I, I I just don't know about that. $49. So, we'll see. I probably won't buy it. Okay, Estee Lauder come out with a beautiful blush, Rebellious Rose. It is a cream to powder blush. Blends beautifully on skin, delivering the perfect touch of color with a powdery soft matte finish. $32. Of course, it's limited edition. And they came out with a special pink tube of the Rebellious Rose Pure Color Envy Sculpted Lipstick. $32. Okay. It's beautiful packaging, but I don't know why they had to make it limited edition. Of course, Rebellious Rose is in the regular line, so you can get that color anytime. It's just it's in a pink tube this time instead of blue. Okay, KVD Vegan Beauty, the Good Apple Skin Perfecting Foundation Balm. I don't know about this really haven't paid that much attention to it, but it's full coverage for normal dry skin, fresh matte finish, infused with apple extract to help nourish skin, long wearing, non cakey non-communogenic, fully recycled compact, no mirror, no magnets, no metal. $38 in 40 shades will be available March 12th at Sephora and Ulta. Okay, Hen Dash is a new brand. This is a makeup artist. Uh, I think he's in the Middle East. He's, it says, from painting on beauty on paper to painting beauty on faces and dreams, Liquid's coming out with their own beauty brand, the talented artist Hem Dash. Will be coming in March. Not sure if there's any retailers or just, you know, it could be in Sephora in the Middle East. I'm not sure. But anyway, that's all I know about that one. The other one that's coming out is Kris Jenner. She filed a trademark to... For Chris Jenner Beauty, Chris Jenner Skin, and and Chris Jenner Skincare. So I don't know how fast that will be coming. I did happen to comment on one of her posts on Instagram that she needs to make sure that this line is tested by women of her age. <laughs> she probably didn't like that comment, but just being real. I don't think her brand needs to be geared to the little teeny boppers. What do I know? Okay. Next thing is. 
Fenty Beauty is has launched a, a special edition blush for Rihanna's birthday. Moscow Mule in full size. For a limited, limited time only, the fan fave kilowatt shade Moscow Mule that you've seen in a duo also gets its very on pan in order of Rihanna's birthday. Get Rihanna's killer radiance on her special day in her favorite supercharged rose gold shimmer highlighter designed to make all skin tones pop. Now this is really pretty and that one is very tempting, but we'll see. Okay, Juvia's Place is la launching Juvia's Skin, coming soon. Glow Recipe, available now. Glow Recipe's first ever body product is here. Meet their new Watermelon Glow AHA Pink Dream Body Cream. Trust your body with the same love, attention, and powerful actives found in their daily skincare routine. This luscious body cream is whipped with vitamin-rich watermelon seed butter, naturally soothing hibiscus AHA, soothing watermelon extract, and multi-weight hyaluronic acid for deep moisture and ultimate comfort. This deliciously creamy lotion leaves skin baby soft and a healthy glow. I'm not big on the watermelon products, but this this does sound it's something I might want to try. I don't know. But I'm just not big on the watermelon on my face. I know my body says I shouldn't treat my body different, but I don't know. I'm just not really into the watermelon on my face. Okay. Here we'll go into our little expensive products for the week that I like to point out. Tom Ford is coming out with some skincare. The first thing is the Tom Ford Treatment Emulsion. A luxe cushiony fluid with hydrating hyaluronic acid, white porcelain cacao, caffeine, guacuro to smooth, soften, and hydrate skin. Okay, what we need to know. Tom Ford Research introduces intensive treatment emulsion, a decadently rich yet uniquely fluid formula providing immediate and lasting hydration to smooth, soothe, and help minimize visible redness while helping to restore radiance and boosting skin's moisture barrier without leaving behind residue. Intensive treatment emulsion is powered by moisturizing hyaluronic acid and the Tom Ford Research signature ingredients, rare white porcelain cacao, energizing caffeine and protective guayacuro. Skin is refreshed and recharged with useful radiance. This will cost you $210. Of course, it is formulated without parabens, formaldehydes, formaldehyde releasing agents, pathylates, mineral oil, hydroquinone, sulfates, SLS, SLES, tri, triclocarbon, and triclosan. <laughs> Honestly, I don't have a problem with mineral oil. I know a lot of people do, but I kind of like mineral oil myself. Okay, Tom Ford Research introduces intensive treatment lotion a luxurious performance formula to energize and help balance the complexion and visibly menopause pores. I guess this is the one for oily skin. Leaving skin looking smoother, youthfully radiant, and prepared for the next steps in your regimen. Fast absorbing with a sumptuous watery texture, intensive treatment lotion is powered by Tom Ford Research Sign Signature Power Ingredients. White porcelain cacao, energizing caffeine, protective Gaia Curo, which helps support and preserve the skin's natural energy. So I guess this emul um, this does not have hyaluronic acid for you people that don't like hyaluronic acid. I mean, I can't say that hyaluronic acid is the end-all be-all for me, but I don't hate it. But I know a lot of you don't like it. So this might be something for you. And this is $170. Okay, the next thing that is kind of kind of different. The U Beauty Sculpt Arm Rebound. The Sculpt Arm Re Compound is a revolutionary concentrate designed specifically to tighten skin's appearance, counteract negative visible effects of gravity. The Sculpt is powered by patent-pending Siren Capsule technology to immediately give a look of contouring to areas of skin that need it most. I need this. I mean, I'm not really expecting it to work, but anyway. That's, I'm probably one of these people they're gearing this toward. Okay, the original Siren capsule formulated for the arms has a smart encapsulation of antioxidants, retinol, stabilized vitamin C, glutathione, superoxide, dismutuse, and 
optimizes skin turnover to reveal a brighter, smoother look. And this product is $92. And they got a whole bunch of other stuff about it, but I'm not gonna read you about it. it has probiotics in it. It looks interesting. It makes me kind of want it, but I'm not gonna have it. <laughs> and that's it. The other thing I didn't mention, but I know that most of y'all know is Jeffree Star anniversary for the blood sugar palette comes out tomorrow. He has a little palette. I guess it's the mini cavity palette. And I really do like the color in the center, although it's bright red and it probably would irritate my eyelids. But I do like it. I think I could use it as a blush. I will not be buying this tomorrow, but I probably eventually will buy it. And then he has some, a blush highlighter palette with it. And then, of course, a red pink lip vault. So that's it. And that's really all I got to say. I mean, I'm, you know, I know it's sad about Becca, but hopefully the big products like the powder and the highlighters and the primer, they will move to one of the other brands. And we'll just have to see. So I hope y'all have a great weekend. I'll be back Sunday to talk about weight. And I'll see you later. Love you. Bye.